What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. And today I'll be showing you guys the Air Jordan 11 Low Bread. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, it lets me know I'm in the right direction of showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me. And you guys with the news videos coming ahead of time if you follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. Um, I am very happy to show you guys this shoe. Um, shout out Packer Shoes. Um, once again, they came through with the alley oop on these. Uh, it wasn't that crowded there today, but it was a few people there. A few people actually wasn't sleeping on this. So shout out to Packer. Um, they also had some really dope t-shirts and uh, some uh, ACG shorts in there when I went in there today. So um, if you guys are looking out on those, or if you guys missed out on those, go check them out. They might have your size still. But yeah, man, Packers looked out once again. Official. In my opinion, these do run true to size. So make sure you guys do go true to size in these. Uh, resale is not that bad right now. It's like 240, 250 at the moment. But I love the Air Jordan 11. Honestly, it's like one of my favorite Jordans. But let's start off with the box here. It just has a Nike check at the top. So we get like that OG box here. And on the back, you know what it says back there. All right. In the front, size tagging my size, 9.5. Retail on this is 175. On the opposite side, it says the Nike with the air check there. Okay, and on the back of the box, we have all the brand names and you know things like that. Now, um, this shoe is very slept on in my opinion. I'm opening it up for you guys on the inside. We just get that black plastic, and then here we go. This beautiful, beautiful Jordan 11 low right here. Now, if you guys looked at the box and you saw the IE, that stands for International Exclusive. Okay, um, even though they are here in the States, but I don't know why they're given that name, but that is what they're called. Now, like I said, I just love this shoe and I think this shoe is being slept on because a lot of people don't know the history behind this shoe, honestly. Michael Jordan actually did wear these shoes in 1995 and in 1996 season. So today when they dropped, that made 25 years since they came out and they're damn near to the original of what came out. Like, I mean, even the bottoms, I'm not sure about the inside of the shoe, meaning the insole, but this is damn near to the original of what came out uh, when he first debuted him in 1995 and 1996, when he played in that season. So I don't understand why this shoe was being slept on so much, maybe because a lot of people don't know their history on it. I mean, a lot of the younger crowd, maybe they just don't know their history on it. And a lot of people are just like, eh, it's just a born Jordan 11. They're not going for that much. You know what I mean? So um, don't expect to see these sitting around for too much longer because people are gonna start to catch up. But this is just an amazing shoe and a, a great looking shoe too, in my opinion. But let's start off with the bottom. We got an icy sole here. All right, with the Jumpman in white, we get some red on the, on the pads right there. All right. Some red and black carbon fiber as well on the bottom. All right, now coming up to the sole of the shoe with some white. Okay, I do see a few glue stains on mine, but hopefully that's just on my pairs and you guys don't have that on your pairs, but I am seeing a little bit of glue stain on these. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the inside one more time. Okay, now coming to the toe box of the shoe, we get it in like a leather here. It's like a tumble leather. Um, it's kind of like in a shiny leather, but it's really good quality in my opinion. Like you put your hand on it, it's some really good quality. It's probably not one of the best qualities we've seen, but it's some really good leather on this shoe i'll show you guys that right now on the front of the shoe okay now coming up to the mid of the shoe like going around it we get like some suede on there now it's not like the best suede it could even pass for maybe a new buck if you guys rub your hand past it you'll you'll be able to see what i'm talking about but when i rub my hand past it it has a little bit of a pattern change but not that much so it could pass for like a new buck but it does seem like it is a suede there I'll show you guys that all right, and then we get some holes going around it too as well. Okay. And you know, that's for anybody out there with those stinky feet, you know what I mean? They're looking out for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And the holes are kind of like shaped in like a upside down triangle and a up triangle. If you guys look at that, it's like triangles in those holes with the netting, with the black netting. 
All right, now come a little bit higher than that. We get some more leather on the top there. Now that leather is a little bit more harder than the leather that we get on the toe box of the shoe. So I'll show you guys that on the outside first. Then I'll show you that on the inside. Okay, so that's pretty fire in my opinion. All right, now coming up to the laces, we only get one pair of laces with these and they're like in a rope style laces, a thin rope style laces. So I'll show you guys that, black laces. Okay, now even the tongue here, we get like some more of that like mesh and then it's like a half mesh, half leather tongue going up the middle. Let me get the jump in there in red at the top of the tongue. All right, now on the inside, it's like murdered out in red. And then on the insole, it's black with the jump man being in red. Then it just says what size it is. And on the back of the shoe, you know, it's just black there for a triangle and then a netting. All right, now in my opinion, I really do love these shoes. Again, this has to be one of the best cops of the month, in my opinion, because these are the so slept on. I don't really think people know their history behind the shoe. Once again, Michael Jordan did actually play in these shoes in 1995 and 1996. So these should be harder to get than what they are, but for some reason, people are just like sleeping on them. Like, um, like I hit on Flex app for these, but I think they're gonna be, I don't know. I just think a lot of people are not feeling them or don't know the history behind this shoe. But I mean, I'm really into shoes, so you know what I mean? I do know that. I'm gonna throw these on feed for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.